I'm about to show you guys the best settings for Mario Odyssey on your Yuzu emulator. Now, when I'm playing through Mario Odyssey, I notice some pretty, like when I get to certain kingdoms, it's pretty laggy. And I was trying to figure out certain ways how to improve that, like change my settings or something like that. I've been doing some research and I found out there's some workaround ways, there's some workarounds um, with that. Like I found a couple of things where I'm about to showcase you guys right now, like a couple mods, a couple shader casters that helps boost the performance because like in certain kingdoms, it's really laggy to a point it's unplayable. Well, at least for me, at least I have an i5 and the fact that I got like actually like 80% of all kingdoms pretty much playable in a non laggy fashion is pretty impression. Now I'm going to showcase you guys this low end PC mod. Now this mod is really, really good because it's, it got, I believe about a couple kingdoms fully playable to a point it's not even laggy anymore. Like Cap Kingdom is fully completed. So when you play it through Cap Kingdom, through um, Mario Odyssey, completely not, completely non-laggable, almost non-laggable. Moon Kingdom, mostly finished. Dark Side is mostly finished. But for the fact that some of these are pretty playable, like as you see from the, the beginning of the video, Seaside Kingdom is really playable. At least in my end, it's really playable. So the way you download this mod is you ma basically manual download. See right now, I'm about to do. And then you press download. And another great thing about these people that they they update their mods like pretty, pretty frequently because this mod originally came out three months ago. And the last update was 22 days ago, which is pretty good stating that it's today's the the 5th of July, which is pretty good. So they, they stay up to date. So, and basically how you set this up, as you see right now, I got the low end mod right here. I'm gonna showcase you guys where to put it. You basically left click and go up to open mod data. And then you basically just drag it, just drag it. And that's all you have to do. It's already activated as soon as you put it in that folder. So it's pretty good. And another thing is, is a shader cast, which is really, really good. It's, it almost makes the game run so smoothly. You hardly notice any lag. I will leave the link link in the description down below for this um, shader cast also. This is a really good shader cast. And all you have to do is just press download. And it'll take like a it take like a couple seconds. I already downloaded it. As you see right here, the shader cast is right here. I'm gonna showcase and open it to you guys. And another way how to open up um, the shader cast is just left click and open shader cast. And then you basically drag it. And then it's gonna ask you to want to replace the file. You press yes. And that's basically, that's about it. And I can show you guys my, my settings to Showcase you how I gotta run it so smooth. The graphic settings. I see right here. And I believe I turned off the audio. Yeah, I turned off the audio. I mean, it, it helps with the performance a little bit, but it's not like to a point like, oh, oh my God, it's like a big difference, like a 50% difference. But it's like, it's a little, it's a little audio. It's like a little graphical boost, which is kind of nice. I also do. And yeah, that's about it. Those are the things I use at the moment to this that would what I use at the moment to get the best um settings performance for my Mario Odyssey on the Yuzu emulator. So yeah, that's about it. Um if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share, and subscribe because I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. And yeah, guys, this is Burtone and I'm out. Peace.